What are your views on the use of the pill in terms of long-term health and reproductive health specifically? We're doing it the opposite way we did it last time. Yeah, we'll do it the opposite way. This way you look. Um, I use the pill. I have a younger population than, than does Alvin, I think, and I use the pill quite, quite a bit. I do. I, um, I, I think it's important, again, when you're uh, discussing something, whether it's, uh, the, I mean, well, when you're doing the, using the pill primarily for birth control uh, purposes, which is really the primary re reason I use it, um, the, that it, it, it's explained to you the various options about birth control. First of all, I think it's important that if you're going to talk about birth control, ideally it's nice to have it in conversation with your significant other um, if he or she will, well, he or, well, he will come, he or she. Um, you can tell I don't just, right? Um, I think it's important because I think that, that uh, birth control is a couple's responsibility, not, not a woman's responsibility. Um, and then what I'll do is I'll talk about the various forms of birth control, the, what I call the, the, uh, the barrier kind of methods where it's the condom or the, or the diaphragm or the, uh, really the condom and foam and diaphragm and, and uh, the, the spermicidal gel. I'll talk about the hormonal, the different hormonal uh, forms of birth control, and there are different ones. There's, there's a progesterone, there are progesterone only ones. I talk about the side effects, the risks, the benefits, uh, and then I have the patient um, make a decision. I think that the bottom line here is that the patient should have the opportunity for an informed decision. When I'm asked questions like, is there an increased risk of breast cancer associated with the birth control pill, I say I'm not sure. Um, there's some evidence to suggest perhaps. There's some evidence to suggest not. Um, you know, the, it's, it's, that's the kind of dialogue that I think is important when you're making a decision like that. Uh, Alvin, uh, uh, well, I'll let Alvin tell his side. Well, just to show the other side of the coin, um, I used probably just as many, as a matter of fact, I used to give lectures for birth control companies, for birth control pill companies. Uh, they used to invite me to Arizona to talk about the value of birth control pills. However, when I reflect back now on my practice, I, I get a little bit concerned about using a birth control pill for a long time. For example, a teenager came to my office today who was put on the pill after she had one or two periods when she was 13. Um, she didn't get a period uh, three months in a row and the family doctor or, or gynecologist, doesn't matter who it is, put her on the birth control pill and she got a period. Now she's on the birth control pill 20 years and came off of it and doesn't have a period. And so uh, my concern is uh, should this girl have been put on birth control pill before the ovary kind of got mature enough to work on its own? Uh, because now I have to take her off the pill, put her on progesterone cyclically and see if I can wake up the ovary. Hopefully I can uh, if she doesn't have ovarian failure. Hopefully she's okay, but sometimes you, you mask a patient uh, who has um, a, an inability to make uh, a proper... Um, I, I, used, I think that progesterone cream would have been fine for that girl to help her cycle. Um, the other place that I get a bit concerned is the birth control pill, even low dose, is still seven times the amount of HRT hormone replacement that uh, was stopped in the study. Uh, so once again, I, I, I just don't know whether I use it as easily as I used to use it. So I, I think a lot about it. And uh, there is one case where I think it's indicated in a woman who's had infertility uh, therapy and has had hyperstimulation of her ovaries and uh, in vitro fertilization. Those patients have an increased incidence of ovarian cancer. And it's been shown statistically if in the last few years of their menopausal years you suppress the ovary, the outer cortex of the ovary with the birth control pill, they have less incidence of ovarian cancer.